hi guys welcome back today we will see how ADCs work here you can see the model of the ADC is ADC 0804 um, and this is an 8 bit ADC uh, as you can see the number of bits in this digital output code is 8 um, we supply the analog voltage through uh, pin number 6 and 7 and we can do so by changing the resistance of this potentiometer all right uh, this ADC has got three control pins uh, pin number one chip select pin number two read and pin number three write so these three are um, control pins and it has eight data pins which are this TV naught to TV7 uh, this TV7 is MSP and TV0 is LSP so while reading the binary output code we start from bottom to top okay um, and this pin number 4 and pin number 19 indicated by rate uh, are used to control the conversion time of the ADC uh, and that time is given by 1.1 times R1 times C1 and when the conversion is done this INTR pin this pin number 5 becomes 0 uh, for the conversion to start uh, this chip select signal it must be uh, grounded or it must be zero or at low state and this right pin it should go from low to high right now it's low as you can see this is this button is on so uh, this is grounded this right pin is grounded so uh, even though I'm changing the analog uh, input voltage there's no change in the output why because this right pin should go from low to high for a conversion process to start so let's see for analog voltage 1 volts the equivalent uh, digital output will be so si this, since this is MSP we have to start from the bottom so 1 volt is equal to 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 all right and let's look at this formula also uh, this D is decimal value of output code so it's decimal value of this code uh, this n is number of bits in digital output code which is also known as resolution of this ADC V in is uh, the input voltage and V ref is the reference voltage which is 5 in this case uh, so uh, if we sub in the values of n and this v ref or reference voltage we will get d equal to 51.2 times the input voltage all right so when this analog voltage is 1 volt then this uh, this d will be 51.2 times 1 which is 51.2 right so mm, <coughs> let's see let's convert this decimal value into binary look it's 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. and our simulation gave us the same result 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. let's see for 2 volts so for 2 volts analog input this D will be 51.2 times 2 51.2 times 2 it's 102.4 all right so let's start the conversion so for 2 volts analog input the digital output is 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 so 102.4 yes 102.4 uh, this decimal value let's convert this into binary so it's zero one one zero zero one one zero 
is it same as the result in our simulation 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 right it's the same let's see for 3 volts so for th <coughs> 3 volts it's 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 so for 3 volts this D will be 51.2 times 3 51.2 times 3 so the decimal value is 153.6 all right 153.6 let's convert it okay it's 1001100 one zero zero one one zero zero one are the same one zero zero one one zero zero one all right and for the full scale voltage uh, <coughs> all of the bits will be one right 